This is the new Jack Wolf Knives Gunslinger Jack, and it is the second coming of this particular pattern. Uh, ben Belkin and Jack Wolf Knives released their first locking front flipping knife uh, about half a year back, and people went bonkers for it, and the demand was huge, so he's come back with a second version of that. In between, he released a couple of uh, new versions of his classic slip joints, and another locking folder, the um, mid or the um, after hours jack, which was the f uh, locking flipping version of the midnight jack. That was also a huge success. Uh, but this came right back out, kind of a maybe five knives later, and uh, that just goes to show how popular and how uh, in demand this particular gunstock model is. It's a gunstock jack. You can see that from the handle shape, and having a gunstock pattern handle with only one blade is a real boon uh, because you get the full contours of the handle. You don't have another blade like a pen blade obscuring that contour and you really get to feel the ergonomics. That's what I love about all these Jack Wolf knives. Uh, one of the things anyway, they're all single bladed and so you really get a full sense of the ergonomics of the different handle shapes and why they're shaped that way. Uh, when you have another blade in the handle, of course, you're going to be dealing with the spine of that blade and it changes the overall grip contour. This one here uh, is in S90V, and it's got that beautiful hand rub satin. You can see it's uh, going in that direction, and it does make it easier to clean. You know, when you're uh, wiping it off with a cloth, say if you've used it to cut, uh, I used this to spread butter the other day, and um, wiping it this way and not having those uh, uh, vertical grains uh, or lines, grind lines like that, makes it a little bit easier to clean, uh, but also it's just handsome and beautiful, and it gives it a handmade feel. As And to me, that matches this beautiful ironwood cover so well. Uh, the overall look of the dark blasted titanium, this beautiful wood, each one different, each one unique, uh, and then next to this hand rub satin, um, old timey, in a way, clip point blade, um, I just love the mix of the modern and the traditional. That's the whole point, Bob. Uh, nice full-length backspacer to emulate the spring <clears throat> on a slip joint. Beautiful fit and finish as usual. Um, very nice feel in the hand. And then this one comes with a pocket clip. Uh, the pocket clip and no leather pouch. They always come with a leather uh, slip. But uh, the the flipping jack the flipping locking clipped jack wolf knives do not. They come with a filler tab though, in case taking the clip off and putting it in a slip is your thing. Uh, you can see already I've carried this quite a bit, so I've already marred up that beautiful clip, which um, at first I was bummed to see, but now you know it's like getting the first ding in a new car. Now you can um, drive around in it or carry it and not worry too much about it because um, the damage has already been done or, or begun. Um, I love the way these blasted uh, bolsters will take on snail trails and will lighten up at the corners and stuff. Uh, I like that. But again, um, it will take the first snail trail, or that I should say it will take the second snail trail for me to be comfortable with anything uh, happening to depristinify these bolsters. Um, very nice warm feel to the handle. <clears throat> wood is such a nice, um, I personally like um, natural materials on knives, especially on traditional style knives. I love uh, jigged bone, dyed bone, and um, this wood is so nice. I'm not always a big fan of wood, uh, but lately in my old age, uh, I've gotten to really, really appreciate it every time it's come around. And uh, man, that's beautiful. I've seen a lot of videos on this now, and everyone's got a unique uh, grain pattern, different unique coloring, and everything I've seen uh, has just been beautiful. Uh, from very light and kind of almost tiger stripey to very dark, almost like ebony. Um, and then this is kind of somewhere in the middle. Uh, this one has outstanding action. I would say um, even smoother than the first one. This is the first one uh, that came out. And I'll show that in a sec, but this one is just such a pleasure to to fidget with. And really that that uh, front flipper here is really dialed in perfectly. I can do the 
uh, well, I'll do this first, the regular thumb. I can do the that side finger thing. You can kind of slow roll it. Um, and then you can do the quote unquote reach around. I still find that hilarious uh, method that way. Oh, just over the top like that. Um, and then you've got the nice fullers on both sides, or I should say long pulls on both sides. So it flicks, Spidey flicks just perfectly. You can kind of get your thumb in there, slow roll it out. There are just many, many ways to deploy this. Of course, uh, if you need to play act and pretend you don't have a locking folder, you can do it like that. <clears throat> really, really fine and thin grind. Feels like it gets a, it thickens up a little bit at the tip, actually. Uh, doesn't just feel like that, I know it does. And you can see that by comparing these two. This first one, uh, pretty amazing in the, um, that blue Arctic storm carbon fiber. I can never keep track of what these carbon fibers are called, uh, but blue carbon fiber and really nice um, midnight blue. Feels great in hand. I do love the S90V blades. I mean, I do love the the hollow ground blades with the uh, grinder satin, but I'm I am becoming a a big fan of this hand rubbed uh, satin too. Really, really, uh, I feel like this one is a little more dialed in in terms of the action, and I was fully impressed with the action of this one. Um, some people do not like the lack of access to the lock bar. Uh, to me, on this one, doesn't really bother me. Um, I should say, on this one, it doesn't bother me. On on the first Gunslinger, um, I find myself getting pinched between the carbon fiber and um, and this lock. For some reason, it doesn't happen with the wood here. And I really, it just uh, upon inspection, can't see a reason why, except I think there might be more of a gap when it's in the closed position. No? Uh, so I can't really tell why, but this one uh, just feels better to unlock. Uh, this comes in four other versions, a, a sort of diamond textured knurling uh, on titanium with blue accents, very fetching. Uh, there's the uh, black bolsters, black blade with purple kieranite. That is really cool. Uh, and then two different carbon fibers. One of them is a dark gold, um, dark matter carbon fiber that looks like wood to me, um, just in pictures, I guess I should say. And then the last one is sort of a, um, I think it's sort of a red, white, and blue um, carbon fiber. So lots of different flavors. This this one, uh, I'm putting this video up on the 16th of March, 2024. That's a day after these have been uh, released. And I checked this morning and uh, they are still available. Um, Jack Wolf Knives has increased capacity over the past year and so now uh, they can put more knives out on the initial drops and um, there's more for the people. The people. Uh, I love the giant sharpening choil on this. Not that I will ever be sharpening up there uh, that high. You know, I'm just not going to be... This isn't my only knife and I'm not a hard user. If I was, then maybe, maybe that would happen. Uh, if I were, I guess I should say. But I'm not. Really, really great knife. Uh, just let me show show it in comparison to the. Uh, this one has already started to wear on the pockets. Yeah, just from being in the pocket, I like that right there. So that's the old Gunslinger Jack. Here's the new artwork, and there's the pog and a and a blue cloth and stuff in there. Uh, two stickers also. Uh, this was a recent recent-ish release of the um, of the the initial the gun stop uh, this is gunslinger this is the um, oh, sorry I haven't a and this is the first one <laughs> this is the very first one that ever came out what is it help me guys the uh, gu the um, this is the gunslinger jack this is the sharpshooter jack jeez oh man don't get old people don't get old uh, so that uh, you can see the difference in size. I just sized it up for the flipper so nicely. This is about 3.1 or 3.125 inches. So almost three and a quarter. These are so awesome. I love these. Uh, this, this one in particular with the black and the blue. Ooh, so beautiful. 
I love these things. And I gotta say, um, I am very, very um, grateful to Ben for sending these to me. Um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm beyond honored to check these out each time they come out because uh, they keep getting better and better. And um, I feel like a broken record. Um, and I understand uh, these are not um, easily priced um, for someone to have the full collection like I have. I, I wouldn't uh, without Ben's uh, generosity. So I got to I got to say that. Um, but that being said, I feel like one of the luckiest uh, knife collectors in the world uh, to have these. They're, they're exquisite. And if you like the design of this and you like the look of this, uh, it is definitely, definitely worth saving up for and, um, you know, riding in your pocket for many, many, many years and to be passed down. Uh, this would be a great candidate for that. All right, this is the new version of the Jack Wolf Knives Sharpshooter Jack in S90V hand rub satin with the um, ironwood uh, covers. Thanks for watching.